All right, in today's video, we are gonna go over how to reset an error code on an SMA inverter. This one's Sun Power badged, but any SMA transformless inverter, you get this error code 4301. If you look in the book, it says electrical arc detected. Let's see. Electrical arc detected. Please see section 11.7 for troubleshooting. So we're going to go through the troubleshooting process right now. I'm going to show you. So we're going to shut off the DC disconnect. We're going to find the AC disconnect, which this one happens to be in the electrical panel, furthest from the main back feeding breaker. So then we're going to go over back to the inverter. We're going to let this drain down. Wait for everything to shut off. Also says check DC generator. Electrical arc detected because that is an arc fault error. All right, so now the inverter has entirely shut down. You can see it there. We're gonna go back over. We're gonna turn the AC power on first. We're gonna come over and we're gonna turn the DC power back on. And we're gonna watch this display. It's gonna tell us what to do in just a second here. It's coming back on. You can tap it, make it brighter. Tap anywhere on the unit, not on the screen. So we got a blinking green light, that's good. That electrical arc message is gonna come up in just a second. There it is, electrical arc detected. Please confirm by tapping. Then we're gonna knock on this, this knock on the inverter again. You have to do that within 10 seconds of that message or else it won't work. So now you can see we got a blinking green light. You can hear clicky clacks from the inverter. That was the bulkhead shutting. And then this inverter should just fire right up. It's a rainy day right now, so it might take a little longer. You can see on the display, it's also cycling through all of the DC information, as well as all of the AC information right there. All right, and you can see right here, it is making power. Right now it's making 1245 watts. 1.2 amps on the DC side, 5 amps on the AC side. So this inverter is back up and running. And that's how you clear an electrical arc fault. 